of injury news, three players were close last time we spoke to them. No, I think we're going to have the same squad for tomorrow on the semi-final and no, nothing, nothing new. Um, and in terms of Nkunku, has he suffered a setback? No, no, it's not related with his injury, previous injury. It's a different uh, problem. And it's in a small, a small issue in his hip. It's not in his knee. And now we are uh, a little bit cautious about him because it's six months uh, that from his injury and uh, was was involved in few in few games. But now he's to be in caution and he's not going to be involved tomorrow and see uh, if for Saturday. But we are not sure. We are going. We are going to to be cautious with him. Do you know how long he might be out for? Oh, but it's not uh, a long period. Um, but now at the moment he's not training, he's, he's doing recovery for his problem, and, but it's not a big uh, a big issue. Without him, you're going to lose Jackson as well, since he has a couple of nations. How great is your need for a striker for this month? How, sorry? How important is it for you to bring in a striker? No, 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 no. We are assessing the squad like always. Uh, we have a conversation with the owners and with the sporting director uh, yesterday and today. Uh, yeah, we are uh, looking like uh, all the team for option, for opportunities. Uh, but I am so happy because we have Brocha, we have different player, Palmer, that can uh, play um, in the striker position. And then we need uh, our uh, second line player, offensive player, to of course to step up and score and help the team to score goals and and and, and help to win the games. Uh, no, I am I am very positive. I am happy with the squad, and of course we are working. If something appears, uh, we will announce. But at the moment we are assessing and um, working normally uh, how we are working from the beginning of the season. And how did those conversations with the hierarchy go? No, really good, really nice. I think always uh, we keep this, uh, the good uh, um, relationship, and yes, I think uh, everything is, is going well. And, and of course, uh, conversation that uh, normal conversation that we need to to have. And if we decide something, we will announce uh, as soon as possible. Is it true that you'll need to sell before you bring in? No, it's not. It's not uh, like this. But look, uh, the, like you know, uh, too many rumors uh, with different, you know, uh, uh, things that can go in around the clubs. But uh, I think it's not uh, what they try to me. It's not necessary to sell if we want to buy some player. Thanks, James. Hi, Richard. Um, Semi final tomorrow against Middlesbrough. Uh, are young squad. What's been the message? Well, the message was uh, we have a meeting today, and I think it was the same that was in the half time against Preston. We need to approach the game in a different way. We need to match them, the desire and the energy. And of course, uh, it's a different different game because it's 180 million. Uh, million. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 180 minutes. <laughs> And um, and of course, uh, it's about to have different approach uh, on the game. I think I was a little bit disappointed. The players were disappointed also after the half time. I think today we were reviewing a little bit the, the thing that we need to improve. And of course, not too much time to, to work because uh, the priority is to recover 100% um, in a physical condition to be fresh uh, tomorrow. And of course, it's going to be tough. I think only watching the game again uh, Saturday again uh, Aston Villa. Normally, well, they lose, but they can win the game, and they can win the game. And, and of course, it's a good uh, a good team with uh, clear ideas. Of course, it's true that they changed the the system after to play the the whole season in one four two three one. Now they play using different system. But yes, uh, we already know. Uh, that maybe can use this or another system, but they have good players, good coach, and and it's going to be tough. The offer is going to be really tough, and not VAR, and that is another you know thing that uh, we need to be careful because 
normal our normal attitude is to play with VAR and we are not going to play with VAR and we need to know that and we need to be cautious about that. So is that a worry that there is no VAR? No, no, no worry. It's only to to re, to think that we need to uh, also to to be in a different way and our approach is going to be we need we need to change. It's not to okay, now it's VAR, we can check. No, now it's is the referee and the, that they are going to decide and the way we need to, to be cautious that it's a different game. When you play with VR or without VR, I don't say that it's better or worse, but it's a different game and we need to be clever in this way. You said uh, the semi-final over 180 minutes. It might be the first time some of these players have played a, a two-leg semi-final. How important is it that they start the game differently to how they do against No, it's really important because uh, I think it's... It's important to to get a very good result, uh, knowing that it's going to be tough the game. But uh, of course, uh, we need to go there and and know that uh, we need to start in a different way. I think it was a good example uh, the first half of Preston, and uh, and now uh, watching uh, Aston Villa there again, um, Middlesbrough. I think is is good example that it's going to be a very competitive game. Thank you, Scott, and then Simon. Yeah, obviously you mentioned about the meeting with the owners and directors. I just wondered what came up about Andre Santos and the, the decision they made about Andre is now is uh, going to Brazil uh, to join the, the national team. And for one month he's going to be out of the, the dynamic of the club. During this time uh, we will decide if, if it's good for him to go and to move on loan or no, or stay with us when come back from the, from the national team from Brazil. Last two, Simon, and then Raman to finish. Hey, Rudy, sorry, just a quick one. Uh, Robert Sanchez, uh, have you got any idea yet how soon he'll be back? Well, look, we, uh, just uh, we saw him. Uh, he, he came from a scanner, and we need to see the doctor see the scanner and then to make a decision if we progress in, 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 our, in, the, in the evolution or we need to keep a little bit more, you know, away from the training. But today we are going to have a clear idea after the, his scanner. That was this morning. Okay. Could, could an operation be required? Is that one of the things you have to decide? No, 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 no. no. It's only the pace of the evolution and the, how he can improve in, in you know, going from doing treatment to to start with the, uh, on the pitch. And, and one quick one for me, Manu um, how pleased have you been with, with him this season and the way he's come back? And no, I'm. No, of course. So please, I think uh, it's a player that is so young. He looks m more mature than he is. Uh, he came also for a difficult and complicated uh, situation in Lyon because in the last few months in Lyon didn't play and then came here to uh, to adapt to a new uh, country, new uh, new football. And was uh, was tough, but I think uh, yes, he's doing well. I am so happy with him. Always, young kids, some uh, mindset, you know, different, but we need to agree, uh, always, yes, time to realise, like we were talking about a uh, young kid also that from England, but more for uh, uh, him that came from France, yes, it's always to adapt and to uh, learn and to improve, and I think we are in a good process and he's doing well and I'm so happy that he can perform.